Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Makulu Linux, a very interesting Linux distribution. But before we get started, please do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon, those links are in the description below. Makulu Linux, we're at their website right now to take a quick peek. It just states a whole world of possibilities. Linux has never been so beautiful, easier, more fun to use. We are always doing things different. And let me tell you guys, this is different. I downloaded this yesterday and played around with it a little bit and decided I need to make a video on it because what is really awesome about this distribution is you can pretty much transform it into anything you want to right out of the box. You've got up to eight different desktop environments you can use, eight different looks, and you can customize those looks once you have them up and running. And on their website, they do have Makulu Linux Droid released, Makulu Shift Review. Makulu Shift is the name of this distribution. And if you read about it, it says Makulu Shift is now available for download. This is a massive, and I mean massive, leap forward for the project. Make sure to read the release notes properly as Shift is quite a complex distro, which is quite easy to navigate once you get the hang of it. Also, please keep in mind that because Makulu Linux Shift is a transformable distro that can transform into eight different styles, there is no more need for Makulu to host multiple distros. So basically, they've taken their whole development cycle, put it into one distro, and you can make that distro look however you want to. And what is also great is when you boot into it, they actually give you a little preview video of the things you can do before the operating system itself loads. And it says, for the time being, Shift will replace every other distro we would normally host. Now, we can read the full release notes. And when the release notes open up, it just says, this is the world's first fully transformable operating system. Transform your operating system between eight different desktop environments with a click of a button within seconds. Now, what I did notice about this is they change pretty quickly. And it's not that big of a ISO to download. It's only 2.55 gigabytes. And when I mean transform, it does everything. Menus, docs, icons, cursors, panels, styles, themes. It changes everything. And you can select between eight. Each environment has its own unique look. And 330 wallpapers, 92 icon sets, 20 cursors, 14 GTK themes, various docs, panels, and menus. And then they go through other things down here that you can actually read about if you would like. But what we're going to do is we're going to get to the point of booting into it so you guys can see what it looks like. And it's getting close to the boot now so you can see the intro video that shows you all the different desktop opportunities you have with this distribution. And it tells you a little bit about being able to change the layouts, the docs, the panels, the icons, backgrounds, cursors, menus. And it says, let's take a closer look at Shift. It kind of gives you a walkthrough of how to change the desktop layout. I like that they do have a tutorial on how to do this for your initial boot. Now it's going to take a run through the available layouts. The Lindos layout has a traditional bottom dock with very comfortable menu that looks a lot like Cine menu or a Windows menu. Then you have the Flash layout that has a very traditional bottom panel and Whisker Live menu with plenty of transparency. Core layout has a multifunction bottom dock top panel with a Tri menu system as well as a famous Pi menu. Dash has a side panel and an inverted style Whisker type pop out menu. It also sports some nice futuristic wallpapers. Simple Layout sports an old style Gino menu. Loads of transparency. The GNOME style layout feels like an upside down GNOME with the bottom panel and full screen menu. But don't be fooled, there's a lot more going on. Unity Layout gives a very familiar feel to the Ubuntu Unity desktop environment. Plasma has a bottom panel and a KDE style menu. If you like KDE, you'll enjoy this layout. Right-click on the desktop menu is a very important part of the Makulu experience and will give you access to some great features, like desktop settings, wallpaper changer, themes manager, and clock manager. And of course, they have their application shortcuts that you can pull up with the click of a button. And it gives you the live username and password, Makulu. 
basically says, we hope you enjoy using Makulu Linux Shift. A lot of hard work brought this to you. If you want to support the project, please drop us a few dollars in donation. We're trying to build a cash flow to bring you even more great releases, and every dollar helps. And then it brings you to the screen. Now you're booted in. If you download this on a USB or put it into a virtual machine, this is what you're going to get once you boot up. And you can choose pretty much the layout you want to use. You've got Windows, Flash, Core, Dash, Simple, Unity, Gnome, and Plasma. Let's go ahead and take a look at Windows. It is now transforming and it says, please be patient. We are now in Windows. And as you notice, let's move this around a little bit. You've got everything laid out on the bottom. You've got your bottom panel. You got your menu button here. Gives you that nice layout if that's something you want. And if that's the look you're looking for, you have it right there out of the box. Now let's go ahead and switch over to Flash. Now everything is changed over in the Flash. If you notice, your bottom panel has a nice transparency to it. You get a brand new background wallpaper. And then you come down to Menu, and it gives you a menu with a little bit of transparency in it. And, of course, easy access to get around all your applications and programs. Let's take a look at Core. Okay, now Core has loaded up. And if you can see right now, we've got a top panel and we've got a dock down below. And if you move this out of the way, it gives you everything over here in like a conky style menu. And then if you click on the Pi menu, the Pi menu pops up right here. And you have your ability to pick things like Internet. And then it'll show you what's available in Internet. Or you could pick something like Office. And then you've got all your Office applications that are around the Pi menu, which is really convenient. And I like the way it just pops up on the screen. So now we're going to take a look at Dash. There is your Dash look. Okay, you've got one panel. It's over here to the left. And as you can see, the wallpaper has changed in the background. And that is a very beautiful wallpaper. And then if you want to look at what you have over here, you just click on your menu there. And your menu pops up to where you have access to all of your applications and software. So now we're going to take a look at Simple. Okay, Simple has popped up. And as you can see, we've got a new background that goes along with it. You've got a panel down on the bottom that has a lot of transparency in it. And, of course, you can click on your applications over here. And it's a nice small applications menu. And you can get to whatever you need to real quick. Easy access to let you get things done. So now let's take a look at Unity. Okay, Unity is loaded up. And as you can see, we've got a new background. And then you've got the Unity-like layout to the left. You've got your panel up top. And then, of course, if you want to access your applications, they pop up just like they used to in the Unity. So that makes things a little easier. And then you can just switch back to the desktop. Now we're going to take a look at the GNOME. Okay, GNOME has popped up. And as you can see, you get a brilliant looking wallpaper and background that has changed. You go back to this bar down at the bottom with the transparency. And you've got some software and applications that are pinned to the taskbar. And then if you want to look at your other applications, you click on that and you get a GNOME type feel up here. And then you can drop back down, click back on that, and you're back to your desktop. Now let's take a look at Plasma. And Plasma has loaded up. As you can see, we get yet another different background wallpaper. You've got the single panel at the bottom. And then as you can tell, with all of the different looks we've looked at, most of the icons have changed because they do have different icon sets for each theme. So you click on your Applications menu. Then you get the Plasma Launcher where you can kind of look through everything that you want to look at. Let's take a look at Graphics. You've got Image Viewer, My Paint. So... That is eight different looks for one operating system out of the box. What I'm going to do right now is go ahead and change back to Flash. Okay, Flash is back up. I really like the look of that. Let's go ahead and take a peek here. You've got Desktop Clock. You can change the way the Desktop Clock looks. Change the time, Desktop Clock. Set Clock Color. Set Clock Format. I want to go to 12 hours, so that changes right there. Set Clock Position. It's presently on the right. What if we set it to left? Of course, we'd have to move or remove the icons on the desktop. Quotes update, hourly, daily. Interesting quotes, hourly. A memorandum is written not to inform the reader, but to protect the writer. Interesting. I like that. So let's close out of that. 
Let's go take a peek around this thing and see what all it comes with. Under accessories, it comes with extensions, Gnome Pie, Leaf Pad, Play on Linux, Search for Files, Variety of Wallpapers, Warpinator, Weather, Wine Tricks, Graphics, Image Viewer, My Paint, Internet, you got Discord, Google Chrome, Popcorn Time, Office, you got the WPS Office Suite, Calendar, Contact, Sound and Video, Pulse Audio, Popcorn Time, MPV, Hypnotic, System Tools, Bleach Bit, Desktop Layout Manager, which we what we were just looking at a while ago. And because it is based on Debian, you're going to have the GW Package Installer, of course. Keyboard and Layout, Main Menu, Packages, just another way to install software and applications. It comes with Synaptic Package Manager and comes with Time Shift, Utilities, Advanced Network Configuration, Calculator, Document Viewer, Screenshot, Terminal. Let's see what kind of resources we are using. Let's see if they have HTOP. They don't. Let's see if they have TOP. And they do. At present, I have this machine issued 3 gigabytes of RAM at rest with the terminal open. We're at 1.2 gigabytes being used, which is a little on the heavy side, but it's something you can expect with an operating system that has so many different things you can do with the desktop. Of course, you don't need to have the conky up. You could always shut that off and you could save memory usage. But at the same time, if you're somebody that's wanting a good looking desktop and you're wanting a system that is very customizable and you can change with the click of a button, I don't think you can go wrong with Makulu Linux, obviously. Let's go ahead and close out of this. Back over to the menu. And I wanted to go back to the desktop layout manager because I think we missed some things. There is a theme manager, so you can change the theme. Let's go back, wallpaper manager, select wallpaper. So these are all the wallpaper choices you have. There are tons and tons of very beautiful wallpapers. I'm going to say right now, uh, I want to try this one. This distribution is very impressive out of the box. I am not even going to lie. So you can come over here and pretty much shut everything on the desktop off. Okay, so with a couple clicks of the button, you were able to get everything gone, even the, let's see if we can get rid of the clock, desktop clock, disable. So you can clean all of that off. You can add to it, subtract from it. You can really customize this the way you want it to look. Well, I want to go back over. Let's see if we can find settings, see what we have under settings. Okay, you got Makulu, three gigabytes of RAM, AMD. Disk capacity, OS, 64-bit, GNOME version 3.38, windowing systems, X11, virtualization, Oracle. And then, of course, you've got your backgrounds, notifications, search, mouse and touchpad, keyboard, printers, removable media, accessibility, users, default, date and time, and about. So your typical settings that you would expect on a Linux distro. I think it's pretty impressive, guys. Makulu Linux definitely gives you customization that's not available in a lot of Linux distros at this time. You can pretty much change your whole desktop with the click of a button, icon set, wallpapers, everything. So I recommend you go over and download it. I'll include it in the link below. Is Makulu Linux something you might download, throw on a USB, put in a virtual machine and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee or better yet, Become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.